Thomas Myers and Ian O'Dwyer and we're going to be talking about the subject or topic of pain. Tom's video that was released about just over 12 months ago created a furor in the body work and movement therapies and he had a couple of articles written about it about what he thinks pain is and why his definition is incorrect. This is Tom and his chance to put their slant on pain. Tom, take it away. All right. Well, I, I really thank those people like Nick Ng who uh, put my uh, offhand comments about body work, uh, brought it up to the level of neurological treatise and um, answered it as if I were an expert. I'm not an expert. Um, however, I would say to anybody, you cannot hijack the word pain. It is a word that comes with incredible poetic, emotional, cultural freight to it. Um, so the word pain is very, very large and encompasses emotional suffering, physical suffering, psychic suffering, and so many implications. So when you give me a definition like pain is an unpleasant sensory and emotional experience, we now know, for instance, that the sensory and emotional experience are two different parts of the brain. You can have a brain lesion or you can hammer your thumb and say, oh, that's interesting, that's quite painful. You know it's painful but you lose the emotional connection to it. Those are two separate parts of the brain that analyze those two bits. Is it painful or what's my emotional response to it? So they just mix those two things up. You can get it that I don't really like this definition very much. Um, <clears throat> associated with actual or potential tissue damage, actual or potential, okay, there's equivocation, or described in terms of such language, further equivocation. <clears throat> It requires a paragraph, uh, most of the page long, to explain this. This is a very, I'm sure that a committee worked very long and hard on this International Association for the Study of Pain definition, but it is a committee definition and it might serve um, the practice of medicine, and I am not a neurologist, but the experience of pain is in the body. However much the generation of that pain is in the central nervous system, the experience is of it being in the body. If I have an itch, I do not scratch my central nervous system. It may be being perceived in my central nervous system that I have an itch, which I do right now, right here, so I'm gonna scratch it. I'm not gonna scratch my central nervous system. I'm going to scratch out here and it's going to make a change in my central nervous system. So if you wanna say that pain is exclusively a central nervous system event, great. But I'm gonna say it's associated with the many nerves and the many tissues that are out there way down away from the central nervous system and our thought patterns out in the body itself. And um, I made the heretical, um, actually I stole it from Ida Rolf, uh, the definition of pain which I find to be much more useful, much more specific, and much more actionable, which is pain is sensation accompanied by the motor intention to withdraw. So if I can use Ian's arm here, I'm creating a stimulus, a sensation that he's recording. He knows I'm touching him on his arm, and that sensation, and that sensation, and that sensation, and somewhere, if I keep that up, it's going to turn into pain. And it's going to turn into pain when he starts to want to move away from it. Up until now, it's sensation, it's sensation, it's sensation. When it gets to pain, he wants to go away. And I gave first that definition, you can feel that under the tissue, but again, for a body worker, the place I look for that is right beside the eye. Right in the corner of the eye is where you can see that motor intention to withdraw coming. So if I'm wanting to engage <clears throat> the body without inserting pain into the body, boy, I'm gonna get it for that again, but the idea of giving people more pain with the stuff that I'm doing, I don't want to insert it, I want to get the dehydration, the unconscious, the non-functioning part of the tissue and engage it and then I would say that latent pain, which is not felt as pain, but <clears throat> is, could be taken in terms of cytokines and uh, mobility of the lymph fluid and all of that in this area and I want that to leave. Is that pain leaving the body? It's a metaphor, folks. I don't know enough about pain to speak about that, but boy, I do know enough about the experience of the body to know that once that is done, that area becomes hydrated, unpainful. I can now give a lot more stimulus in terms of my muscular effort into that area, and I'm not creating the intention to withdraw on the person. So uh, 
I'm not talking neurology, I'm talking experience here, and I will leave the neurologist to find out the mechanisms by which this is perceived and interpreted in here. But I know in terms of touching the body, I can see right here when that central nervous system is trying to get away. So you weren't seeking to provide researchers and scientists and doctors with a definition of pain? Who is your definition aimed for? I'm only speaking as a body worker and um, my experiences with movement therapies and hands-on therapies. Um, I'm not a neurologist and I'm not dealing with pain as a pathological condition. Those are complex central nervous system mechanisms. I would suggest that the definition of pain that I'm giving is more practical for the body-oriented worker. And uh, also in the article they took, it was hard to tell who was being quoted and who was actually writing the article because it was jumping around a lot. But uh, in amongst that I recall that there was a uh, mention of you saying that pain enters the body, is stored in the body and leaves the body. How would you explain that? <clears throat> well, pain entering the body is when you hammer your thumb or you stub your toe or somebody cuts you. Um, you, get, you get a collection of a trauma from a football game. You get a trauma from a football game or a car accident. Uh, that's pain entering the body, what we experience as holding pain. With people who have been traumatized in that way, people who've just been scarred with any of a minor trauma, that gets stored in the pattern of the body. That may be in the pattern of scar tissue, it may be in the pattern of the distribution of cap capillaries, capillaries, sorry, I'm American, um, and it may uh, be, obviously, I, I respect the work that uh, Lorimer and others have done, that they may be central, uh, that there are central nervous system modulators that are going to determine that pain and maybe augment that pain more than the suggestion in the tissue would be. Pain stored in the body is not felt as pain. It's felt as fatigue or lack of ability to move. You may say, I don't have any pain in this area, but if I ask you to move in such a way that you start to move that area, you then experience pain. You experience strong sensation, you experience the intention to get out of that stretch, and that is, by my definition, or by Adderall's definition, pain. So that the pain stored in the body is felt as limitation of movement and is probably measurable as cytokines or other kinds of things, but I don't know about that. I do know that if I can then get people to move through that area to where they include that movement in their body, they move through the pain, I'm sorry, I can't put it any other way, through the restriction that is accompanied by this sensation with the motor intention to withdraw either with my hands moving them or cueing them to move in a certain way, that then that pain is gone. You can then have them move that way with no pain. You can then touch their body deeply with no pain. If that's not pain leaving the body, I'd just love to have another sentence for to describe it because I don't know how else to describe it. Yeah, so does that make you guys feel better if we say we don't know the mechanism by which the pain is disappearing? It is neuromyofascial epithelial-ish. Um, some kind of mechanism is making the experience change. That's what I want to do for my clients is to have the experience change. Sometimes that will result in a diminution of pain, sometimes it doesn't, but we hope most times it does. Jesus. <laughs> Where's this cameraman from?